Mr. Ronald, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us more about the Government Network. Can you first tell us about how the project started? So the Government Network started part of ICT Qatar's eGov initiative uh, back in 2007, where it was necessary to have a platform, a network communications platform, supporting the launch and the, de the delivery of e-services across the country. So that was in 2007. 2008, we started working quite intensely on getting the design together in terms of how are we going to um, deliver the network to government agencies, what are the technical uh, criteria that we need to consider, how are we going to implement this, and in what sort of model format. 2009, we uh, approached um, a period of the government network where we had agreed with QTEL the uh, implementation uh, scope and had finally signed the contract. And we reached this point right now in June where we are ready to implement uh, the government network for the state of Qatar. Can you highlight the service objectives of the network? So the network has three principal service objectives. Uh, the one and most uh, important point is to ensure that when data is transmitted across the network, it's secure that government agencies can be sure that any information that they have traversing the GN is safe and it's secure. So encryptors will be put in place so that data is, is, is securely uh, transmitted. The second point is performance. When we place systems like PACS, which is Picture Archiving Communication Systems, generally used in the healthcare sector, we need to make sure that the platform is reliable and is delivering the performance required by the applications. For example, real-time services, voice or video, need to be delivered across or between agencies in real-time service. The third point is availability. So we need to make sure that the network has a very high level of availability. If, if you take a site that's connected into the government network, and one of those links, if it has a pair of links, if one of those links are broken, we must make sure that the other link, the standby link, recovers within a, within a very relatively short space of time. So this is uh, where, where we look at availability and make sure that the services are continuously uh, given the availability uh, of the GM. Which sectors are to benefit from the network? There are three main sectors, uh, main government sectors in Qatar that will benefit. One is the healthcare, uh, second is the education sector, and the third is central government. For healthcare, we have systems, like I mentioned, like the PACS system or the electronic health record system, which are critical services being driven forward by the healthcare sector. For the education sector, there's a number of independent schools which are now um, being given the access to, to KNET, which is a, a project uh, driven by the education sector, allowing teachers, pupils, and um, uh, parents to get together uh, in terms of data collaboration. And the third sector is the government, which is central government, allowing central government services to be shared between each other. How will the security of the network be ensured? Well, security is a very important point here, and we make sure that security is implemented at the access point of the GN. So the government network will position equipment at government agencies, such as firewalls, intrusion prevention systems, um, routing policies, such that when an access is made onto the GN, uh, security is, is, is ensured through policies. Now, if an agency wishes to encrypt data, that, that means to protect uh, the data that's traversed across there, we have special devices uh, positioned within the cabinet that will be positioned at the agency's site that will encrypt data and make sure that any data transferred across the GM is safe and secure. How will you monitor the implementation of the network? So within this period, within this year, the GN will enter into its uh, implementation phase, as I mentioned. And there are two phases of this. The very first phase is to make sure that, uh, that the agencies are, are ready for implementation. So we prepare uh, the sites and we do the site surveys and we're working very closely with uh, QTEL on this to make sure that uh, the site is ready. 
to be able to monitor the uh, progress of the project going forward, uh, uh, there will be myself and my team uh, that will be responsible for uh, interfacing into QTEL and both interfacing with the agencies to make sure that we properly manage the quality control uh, of the implementation going forward. How and when will Qatar residents begin to sense the impact of the network? So this is one of the key objectives of the government network, which is to make sure that any e-service launched by an agency, a government agency in Qatar, is supported by a very high available, a very high performing and a very secure platform, which is the GN per se. So we make sure that um, the residents are getting the level of service that is promised to be delivered to them in terms of any e-services launched will run or is planned to run over the government network. So making sure that the government network is reliable, secure and very high performance has uh, an effect on the, on the services that are running on top of it. And this, this is one of the key objectives of the GM. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you.